If you're shopping for a house, it's so important to know and understand the different MLS statuses. You don't wanna waste your time falling in love with a house that's pending, but you also don't wanna overlook a home that's CCBS. If you're thinking, what the heck is she talking about? Then stick around because I'm breaking down all nine of the MLS statuses you may come across when hunting for a house in the Arizona Regional Multiple Listing Service. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back and for spending your time with me. My name is Lindsay and I'm a proud Anthem resident and your local realtor with the Wise Move AZ team at Realty One Group. On this channel, we have a lot of fun talking about all things Anthem and real estate every single Thursday, and we absolutely love having you along for the ride. As a realtor, I use the MLS to search for properties for the most part. This tends to give the most up-to-date information, although I do need to consult sites like Zillow when we're talking about properties that are for sale by owner or are not included in the MLS for some other reason. As realtors, we typically pay an annual subscription subscription fee to the MLS in our areas of service for access to that information. For us, that's the Arizona Regional Multiple Listing Service or ARMLS for short. We sometimes call it armless for short, so if I do that throughout this video, bear with me, I apologize, and know that it's all the same thing. The folks at the ARMLS do an incredible job of maintaining the integrity of the data in the system. Because of the hard work they do, we can rely on the information in the MLS to see what homes sold for, how long they were on the market, and so much other valuable data that influences future listing prices, offer prices, and more. One of the most valuable pieces of data Armless tracks is the current status of a property. As you can imagine, this is really important information when we're trying to determine if this is a house you can buy. Maybe you've been looking online and you've seen some homes listed as active, others listed as under contract accepting backups, and maybe you've even seen something like temporarily off the market. What do all of these mean? In this video, I'm going to go through each status a property can hold in the ARMLS and what it means for you when you're looking to buy a house. Please note that these are not necessarily the same statuses you'll find on sites like Zillow. In fact, it can often require some serious digging to find the status of a property on sites like Zillow. If you're looking to buy a house, I strongly recommend that you connect with a local realtor. They can set you up with access to the MLS along with a ton of other expertise throughout the buying process. If you already have a realtor, that's great. If not, don't hesitate to send us an email at team at wisemoveaz.com. If you're buying in our area, we would love to help. And if not, it would be our pleasure to connect you with an expert in your area. Also, before we jump in here, don't worry about taking notes throughout this video. At the end of the video, I'll give you access to a printable cheat sheet that you can keep handy throughout your house hunting process. Number one, active. Let's start with an easy one. Active means that the home is currently for sale. It is actively available. Please note that this doesn't mean that they haven't received offers or that they don't currently have an offer in hand. They might. It just means that at this point, they haven't accepted an offer. When you're looking to buy a house, an active status is like a big flashing pick me sign. Normally, these homes are accommodating showings. Number two, UCB. UCB stands for under contract backups. Uh, that still isn't overly descriptive, is it? It means that the home is currently under contract i.e. they've accepted a contract to purchase their home, but they're open to accepting backup offers as well. It doesn't mean that you can just come in with a higher or better offer and just kick the current buyer out. If you submit an offer on a home that's UCB and it's accepted, you will be in a backup position. The seller can only proceed with backup offers if their current contract falls through. Anyways, we don't need to get into the logistics of it in this video, but suffice it to say that although this home is still accepting offers, it isn't nearly as available as a home that's active. 
A home that's marked as UCB will continue to accrue days on market. If you're interested in a home that's UCB, you may still be able to tour it. Before you go too far with it, I encourage you to have your realtor find out as much as they possibly can about the current contract. If they're through the inspection period and there are no other contingencies, it may not be worth your time. Number three, CCBS. CCBS stands for Contract Contingent on Buyer Sale. A few months ago, we did a video where we explored what it looks like to accept a contingent offer. If you'd like to check that out, I will link to it in the cards for this video. In many ways, CCBS is very similar to UCB. These sellers have accepted a contract to purchase their home, but they're open to accepting backup offers as well. The big difference is that when a home is CCBS, we know that the sale is contingent on the buyer's ability to sell their current home. This definitely adds a layer of complication and can put the transaction in a more precarious position. The way backup offers are handled on a home that's CCBS are a bit different than the way backup offers are handled on a home that's UCB but I'm thinking it's probably best if we save the logistics of that for a future video. A home that's CCBS will continue to accrue days on market. If there's a home that you're interested in that's CCBS, it's definitely worth looking into and at least finding out what stage of the process they're at. Again, if they're too far along, it may not be worth your time. But if the current contract is on rocky ground, this might be the perfect time to swoop in with your offer. Number four, coming soon. Coming soon is a status that was created in 2020. It replaced a status formerly called delayed status and made some changes. Coming soon is exactly like it sounds. The home isn't officially on the market yet, but it will be soon. There are a number of rules that agents and their clients must follow when using the coming soon status, and it has definitely been the cause for some confusion. A home can only be listed as coming soon in the ARMLS for a maximum of 30 days. After that, it automatically switches to active. Showings may be permitted when a home is coming soon. That's up to the seller. The seller can technically accept an offer while the home is in coming soon status as well. A home in coming soon status will not accrue days on market. Please note that the purpose of a coming soon status is to generate a bit of buzz before the home officially hits the market. It's not the same as a pocket listing because it's available to all subscribers of the MLS. It's also worth noting that homes that are listed as coming soon in the MLS are not syndicated to sites like Zillow until they're switched to active. That being said, because showings may be permitted and the seller may accept an offer, if you see a home that's listed as coming soon that you're interested in, don't wait for it to be switched to active to make your move. In my opinion, this is the most complicated of the MLS statuses. If you have questions about the coming soon status, leave them for me in the comments and we'll get them answered. Number five, Pending. Pending is a lot more cut and dry than some of the previous statuses. This means that the seller has accepted an offer to purchase their home and the home is no longer being marketed for sale. There are a number of reasons why a seller may decide to go pending. They may not want to entertain any more showing requests or they may just be really confident that the current transaction is going through. A home that was marked as UCB or CCBS may be switched to pending when they're through all of their contingencies. In many cases, a home that is pending is just counting down the days until closing. I like to think of it as a train heading into the station. If you see a home that's marked as pending, it's usually best to just move on. This home is not actively for sale. Your agent can always reach out to the listing agent for more information, but I wouldn't get your hopes up on this one. Number six, closed. Okay, this is another pretty easy one. If a home is marked as closed, it is sold, finished, Finito, done. This house is not currently for sale. Closed homes are important when we're running comps to determine the value of a property, but they're not all that helpful when you're looking for a house to buy. Number seven, expired. If you see a home that is marked as expired, it means that the contract between the listing brokerage and the seller has expired. This could mean any number of things. The listing agent and the seller could be renegotiating terms before marking it as active again. The seller could be signing with a different agent. The seller could decide that they no longer want to sell. 
Honestly, if there's a listing that you're interested in that's marked as expired, I recommend having your agent reach out to the previous listing agent to get as much information as they can. If the previous listing agent isn't able to assist, your agent could try reaching out to the seller directly. Ultimately, when a home is marked as expired, it is not currently for sale. This status will always require a little bit more digging on a case-by-case -case basis to understand the seller's intention. Number eight, temporarily off market. This is another status that's exactly like it sounds. For whatever reason, this home has been taken off the market for the time being. Maybe the seller is having work done on the property, or maybe they just need a break for personal reasons. When a home is temporarily off the market, or TOM for short, it does not accrue days on market. When a home is in TOM status, it is not actively for sale. If a home you're interested in goes temporarily off the market, have your agent talk to the listing agent. The listing agent may be able to give an indication of the circumstances, and they may have an idea of when the home will be back on the market. Much like expired, this status requires research on a case-by-case -case basis to determine in the seller's intention. Number nine, canceled. Dun, dun, dun. Last but not least, we have the canceled status. This means that the home is not for sale at this time. This can happen for a number of reasons. The seller may have decided that they no longer want to sell their home at this time, or they may have decided that they no longer want to work with their agent. It's possible that this home will be relisted with a different brokerage, but I don't want you to get your hopes up. Your agent may be able to connect with the previous listing agent or the seller directly to learn a little bit more about their intentions. So there you have it. What do you think? I hope that this video has helped you to understand the many different statuses you may come across in the ARMLS when you're looking to buy a home. As promised, if you'd like to download a copy of our cheat sheet that shows all of the different statuses and what they mean at a glance, click the link in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and leaving me a comment. Comment. Lastly, if you want to make sure that you're truly prepared to buy a home, click to watch this video up top where we run through common home inspection findings, or if you'll be starting your house hunting journey from afar, click to watch this video on the bottom where we share our best tips for virtual house hunting. Enjoy those and I'll see you next Thursday.